what is going on YouTube this is a video for those who are trying to decide between which um, Hamilton khaki titanium to go for if you are trying to decide between the blue or the uh, gray charcoal I guess I'm not sure what they call that colorway but um, I did an extensive review again this is the 42 millimeter Hamilton Khaki Field Titanium, okay? So, if you're looking for my thoughts and review on this watch, go check out my one on the gray dial, and I'll give you all that. This is just a quick review because I picked up um, the blue one as well. And <laughs> I was about to say before I started filming that, um, yeah, the gray dial is the way to go. But, man, I'm telling you, this one... In this light I don't know I have a love-hate relationship with blue dial watches because of that reason it seems like sometimes they look great sometimes they don't sometimes they look black uh, and I don't really like that so I'll throw in some shots here of me just uh, farting around town and stuff like that but um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say I lean towards the blackish gray one i i can tell you you can definitely read the time better in that one i think the syringe hands with the black um <clears throat> you see you can barely see it that dark is the dial is kind of dark uh but you know they just they're so nice in that gray dial they reach all the way it will of course they reach out the same here but you can really see it um, here, only if you're in like a direct sun or like right here, you, can you see those tips? Um, if that's not a deal breaker to you, cool. But me, to me, the whole point of this watch is this awesome, awesome dial because there is no AR coating. So you're going to get mad reflections. So <clears throat> there's that triple, um, we got like the inner, inner area, God inner wheel I said it in the other video perfectly the middle ring and the outer ring if you will it's kind of hard to see on this blue one um, with the other one it looks like there's like a gray and then like a black for that where the large Arabic uh, numerals are why do we call them Arabic is that just can we just say large numerals it's like a watch thing I don't even know large numerals um, you can tell on the, or you can see on the, uh, the gray dial, it looks, it's just much more distinct, these, 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 uh, rings. And it's just, man, such a sexy watch. Now, <laughs> look, if, if you got a deal on this one, I mean, you are going to be happy. Or if you're a blue dial watch, kind of, kind of a gal, um, I think you're going to like it. Just know that sometimes it does appear a little dark. If you're not in full on, you know, obviously I'm in my garage, I got LEDs above, but if you're like, I don't know, <clears throat> sometimes it's going to feel like it's maybe a little dark, but the blue is a stellar blue and I'm pretty picky on my blue dial watches. Um, and this is the kind of blue that I would be going for. So. Other than that, I mean, there's no difference. I think it's the same strap, and I love this strap. This one is, like, really old and broken, so it looks pretty nasty. But these straps, there's really no reason to take it off. I mean, it's so freaking comfortable. Uh, again, this is the 42, so there's no other differences in the watch other than uh, the dial. So let me know your thoughts. Um, are you a blue dial watch? type of a guy um does this do it for you do you have another blue dial watch that you like better um or what do you think about the uh, the one i did the video on the charcoal one that one just seemed to i mean they both have like i said mad glare but that one just pops a little more um it's a little easier to tell the time but i don't know this one is really growing on me i could just sit here and look at this in this lighting right here that's pretty. Golly. All right, enough rambling. Thank you, guys.